this, surely. <laughs> we live on quite the very unique world, you know. A world that's teeming with life of every size, shape, color, and origin. We have a lot of birds in the sky, animals on and below the ground, and the creatures of the deep that amaze us with how they survive. But while it's fair to say that we know many of the animals that roam our world, there are plenty that are quite rare to find. And so when we do discover them, we try to take pictures and videos to prove that they do, in fact, exist. With all of that in mind, here now are the 20 rarest animals caught on camera you'll want to watch twice. Number 20. Sallow Given that the word rare can mean all kinds of things to different people, and sometimes rarity is defined as a specific region versus being so rare to the whole world, we decided to begin with a creature that is so rare that it sometimes goes many years without being spotted in the wild. I'm speaking about the sallow, or the long-horned ox, that can sometimes be seen in Vietnam. I emphasize the phrase sometimes, in 2013, a photographer was able to capture a picture of this thing in the wilds within the country, and the last time that it had been seen before that was 15 years prior. Now that's quite a long time, and it just goes to show you how rare that the creature is. The animal was first discovered in the remote areas of high mountains near the border with Laos in 1992, and even then, they didn't find the entire animal. They only found its skull. Fast forward to now, and we still know precious little about it due to how rare that it is and how hard it is to find in Vietnam. One of the biggest reasons is that its population numbers are very low. According to officials, the native people hunted the creature until it was on the verge of extinction, a trend that sadly many animals have faced across human history. Organizations like the World Wildlife Fund have recruited people within Vietnam to try and find the salo so that it can be preserved and protected. And for context, back in 2013, it was believed that at best, there were only a few hundred of them left in the world, and at worst, possibly only a few dozen. A decade has passed since the photo was taken, and it's unclear how well, or even how poorly, the Salo have done in that time period. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. And now it's time for the fancy topic. Now, I know sometimes that you get shown pictures that are clearly fake, and yet we try to make sure to talk about them in a way that makes you wonder what's real and what's not. But that's really kind of hard to do with this one. Allegedly, and I say that in the strongest of context, this creature is from Africa, and it mystified people when it was first spotted a long time ago. Well, I would hope that it would mystify people if it was spotted, because it is indeed clearly fake. Seriously, this is not a picture of an animal, it's a picture of a statue. And you can tell by the texture on the horse, the way that it's adorned with flowers, and certain jewelry, and the way that its mane looks and more. Plus, it's got red eyes and appears to have tusks coming out of its mouth, or into its mouth, so yeah, that's definitely not any horse that lives on this planet. Instead of making up a story about said horse, let's just note how people have never been afraid to create their own unique versions of animals that do actually live in our world. It's almost an obsession with them, and if you think about tales from mythology and how several classic creatures are expanded upon or even merged together to create something altogether jaw-dropping or mystical, you'll see just how far they go to craft a clever tale. Like how a chimera is a mixture of several animals, or you have things in Norse mythology that involve snakes so giant they can devour an entire world, and so on and so forth. And why do we do this? It may honestly be a case of, well, why not? Plus, we know that with many creatures and cultures, throughout time, there have been tales created to simply scare children so that they'll listen to their parents. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know what you think in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. The Javan Rhino 
getting back to actual creatures of our world that are rare and need to be protected and that actually exist, we now look at the Javan rhino. How do we know that the Javan rhino is such a rare species? Well, it's simple really, because they only live in one place in the entire world and it is not in the wild per se. They live in a national park. They've set up cameras all over the park so that the rhinos can be monitored and ensure that they're all right in their new homes. They've even gotten some rare footage of them doing their natural acts, like rolling around in the water and the mud. So how rare are the rhinos? In 2020, when the video was posted online, the population was only around 79. For context, that's just a little over 20 more than they had in 2009. Repopulation has not been the easiest of things, but thankfully the park is dedicated not only to helping the rhinos, but to protecting them from poachers. Rhinos are one of several creatures in Africa and Asia to be hunted into near extinction because of their natural assets. In this case, we speak of their horns, and even their hides to some. The ivory that they had was once one of the most luxurious items that a person could have, and people didn't mind slaughtering the animals in bulk in order to sell ivory on the black market. To say it was a big business, well, that would be an understatement. Even with these species and others at a near extinction point, people still hunt them down for money and pride, which is why conservation efforts like these are so vital. Without them, these species would be gone, and it wouldn't be a rare sight to see something like a Javan rhino. It would be an impossible sight. And that doesn't sound very nice now, does it? Number 18. A Muir Leopard you may think that because of their popularity in the world that the big cats would be immune from being rare creatures, but that's not true at all. Plus, like many species out there, not all big cats live in places where they can live in peace and not have to worry about being hunted. The Amir leopard is an excellent example of that. While most leopards find themselves in Africa, this one is actually in Russia. That's quite a difference, as you may have guessed. For whatever reason, it was able to adapt to the cold climates of the region and carve out a life for itself. But now, it's a rare find. And why is that? Well, not unlike the rhinos, the Amir leopard species is hunted down constantly because of its beautiful fur. Furs are a big market as well. They have one of the best furs that you can get. And as you may remember, it's cold in Russia. So people are always up for getting furs so that they can stay warm on those chilly nights. Another disadvantage that the Amir leopard has is that their homes in Russia are typically surrounded by towns and cities so people can very easily get to them and kill them without much resistance. Corruption was also a problem at one time, as the leopards could even be killed while in a preserve that was supposed to be protecting them. Just to give you an idea of how valuable these creatures are, a single fur from one of these leopards can fetch you up to $1,000 in certain Russian villages. It should also be noted that other animals in their habitat are often poached for other reasons, so it becomes a very vicious cycle. The Amir leopard isn't only a cool big cat, it's a rare subspecies that defies logic in a lot of ways. So, for it to go extinct just because people enjoy its fur, well, that would be quite the sad thing. Number 17. Vaquita So far I've talked about creatures of the land that are in danger, but there are actually plenty of creatures under the water that are just as much in trouble, and you could argue that no creature is as in danger as the vaquita. But what is the vaquita that you've probably never heard of? Well, it's the world's smallest porpoise. It's also the world's most rare marine animal. And would you care to take a guess of how many of them are left as of the year 2023? <laughs> Go on, let me know. Well, the answer, according to the World Wildlife Fund, is that there are only 10 individual vaquita left in the entire world. That's not just near extinction levels. That's one bad day could wipe out the entire population kind of level. Another horrifying aspect of this tale is that we've only discovered the species in 1958, which in scientific terms is relatively recent. And that means that between then and now, the population has plummeted and nearly died out. But how did it happen? You likely can guess the answer, illegal hunting. Specifically, the vaquita are known to live near Mexico within the Bay of California, and due to their size, they are repeatedly caught in fishing nets and killed. 
They're also creatures that are not afraid to get close to the shoreline of places like Mexico and California, which places them in even more danger of being hunted, along with being involved in accidents. They're so rare that the WWF did not get an official photo of them in the wild until the year 2003, and even then it was kinda just a blurry headshot. Appropriate for someone who lives near Hollywood, you know. All jokes aside, the creature is on the edge of annihilation, and humanity only has itself to blame for the sharp decline in its population numbers. Given how low the population count is, it would need a miracle or even a concentrated effort to be able to bounce back. Number 16. The Okapi Now we head back to Africa for a tale of a creature that was a myth for a while, until it was definitively proven to exist, the Okapi. One look at the Okapi will tell you just how special that it is, and why you don't see it in the wild as much as you may think. If someone looked like that in the wild all the time, well it would probably draw plenty of attention to itself. Curiously, this thing seems to understand its unique look, and so, it's one African mammal that doesn't mind hiding out of sight for long periods of time. The first sighting of it in Africa outside of its native population was not until the late 1800s, and even then it was not recognized until 1901. If you're wondering what it is and what it's not, it is technically a family member of the giraffe, not a zebra, though I can understand the confusion that it might cause given its striped hind legs. But why does it have such stripes? Well, apparently it's to help camouflage itself and its surroundings, as well as make for easy identifiers for others in its species to be able to recognize it. The species is so unique and rare that there's a dedicated organization that's meant to help keep it alive, and we salute them for doing such work. Number 15. The Axolotl the axolotl is one of the most rare creatures in the world, and easily one of the most unique. It's defined as a giant salamander, and when discovered in Mexico, the species would be dubbed so special that it was named after one of their gods. To be fair, the axolotl does have some godly abilities, which includes being able to regenerate just about any limb should it lose it. Wild axolotls live exclusively in the swampy remnants of a lake and the canals that lead to the southern edge of Mexico City. That hasn't stopped it from ending up in other parts of the world, though, as they apparently make great pets that are easy to care for. However, due to them living in aquatic environments, it's exposed them to pollutants that have severely lowered their population count. In 1998, the species had around 6,000 individuals per square kilometer, but by 2015, that was just 35 per square kilometer. That is quite the drop, and it's also why they're listed as critically endangered. Hopefully they don't become extinct, because we may truly lose a unique creature if it does. Number 14. The Kakapo How about we now go to a country that's known for its unique variety of life? I speak, of course, of New Zealand, and we're going to showcase a bird that many of you will likely not know much about. The Kakapo. What makes this bird so unique? Well, it's known as the owl parrot because of how its face looks and the owlish whiskers that reside on its face. Yes, you can see it. Furthermore, like an owl, this bird tends to be the most active at night, which is what Kakapo translates to in the Maori language, night parrot. The tragedy of this bird is that while it is found in New Zealand, it used to be scattered all throughout the nearby islands. He is. <laughs> oh, no. However, they became extinct there and were translocated to three islands within the country. Thankfully, those who helped to get the birds there have been watching over them and trying to build back up their population numbers, but it's slow going. A head count from some time ago placed them at only 125 members, and that's not a whole lot for a bird clan, but with some effort, that could very well change. Number 13. Irrawaddy Dolphin the Irrawaddy dolphin are river dolphins that you can find in three specific areas of Southeast Asia. While that may sound cool, it also means that you could go to a river and find a nice visitor at your bow, and it's also why these dolphins are numbered at less than 100 individuals. One of the most popular places that it inhabits is the famous Mekong River, where you can find over 1,100 species of animals residing within. So, you can just imagine why people are trying to save this dolphin, as it is a key part of the river's ecosystem. 
Plus, the animal is sacred to the locals, giving them all the more reason for preserving the creature. Why are their population numbers so low? Well, because of the size and diversity of the creature in the river, they've been caught constantly within fishermen's nets. Yes, it may be by accident, but that doesn't stop them from being killed in large numbers. Thankfully, the World Wildlife Federation and other organizations have banded together in order to try and save the dolphin and work with the local peoples to ensure that this kind of thing doesn't keep occurring. And hopefully, they're actually making good progress. Number 12. Angel Shark You may have not expected to see a shark on this list, but sharks have to be protected in ways that are both natural and man-made. It doesn't mean they're not immune from the dangers of extinction, and the angel shark is one such example of that. Currently, the population of the angel shark can be found mostly off the coast of Great Britain, where a large preservation effort is underway to breed the animals back into the world. A couple of years ago, a photographer was able to capture a great video of the angel shark swimming, and it is quite the sight, especially since that creature doesn't look like the typical sharks that you may expect to see in the oceans and the seas. The people of Wales have led the way in order to save the angel shark species and even made a law that makes it illegal to hunt or injure the sharks in any kind of way. These sharks are known to be both flat and small, which means that they're not a threat to humans, and so they're not really a danger that needs to be put down. Hopefully, people will continue to work together in order to not only keep them alive, but to grow their numbers in the future. Number 11. The Red Panda Pandas as a whole are creatures that a lot of people know to preserve and protect at all costs, or even the logo animal of the WWF. But most people forget that there's more than one kind of panda out there that needs protecting, and the red panda is another one that needs your help. Red pandas are so rare at one point that in 2014, footage was finally captured of the creature in Myanmar, but it was only because its habitat had been destroyed. They tend to live in areas like China and the Himalayas, and they're not really the biggest creatures out there, unlike the other pandas that you all are used to seeing. The good news is that because of multiple conservation efforts in the region, where it's protected by all sorts of laws, the species is only endangered. But it's a very slippery slope, and we can't let our guard down. No one wants to hear that any kind of panda is on the verge of extinction, right? Number 10. Whistling Dogs You might think that a dog species being close to extinction is kind of odd, given how domesticated that they all are. But there are plenty of wild dog species living in the world that don't want or even need humans, and the rare whistling dogs are one such breed that need to be kept that way. This dog species was so rare that it took a global pandemic to bring them out of hiding. I'm not joking. In 2020, they would be spotted in a national park where they had been housed for decades, but had not actually been seen in half a century. If you think about that, they were there the whole time, and yet never spotted because they didn't want to be found. The destruction of their habitat was what led to their population numbers plummeting, but conservation efforts, which includes the park that I mentioned, do give hope for the future especially since they were finally spotted once again in the wild. Number 9. Sumatran Orangutan It might sound basic that the destruction of habitats is what's led to many animal species nearly losing their entire population, but it is true. Animals like these are not like humans, where they can pick up and move anywhere. That's not exactly how it works. They create a nice equilibrium within their environment and when that's threatened, they end up suffering. The Sumatran orangutan is another example of this. The forests of Sumatra have been heavily hit over the years by human expansion, and these orangutans have had to try and survive with less and less space to live in. However, the good news is that we do know that they're still around and even have been caught on camera. Plus, people have been replanting their forests in order to try and bring back some of the life that they once had. There are even protectors who help to look after the animals. Number 8. The Great Argus The animal known as the Great Argus is not some kind of mythical creature or a colossal beast. It's actually a pheasant. 
You can find it in Borneo, if you're lucky. They're actually quite hard to find, and even those who have dedicated themselves to finding them have not had a whole lot of luck. One person even said that despite every effort being made, they've only seen one in the wild, and only once. As you can see from this video, the Great Argus has a special courting ritual that it does, and it's amazed people who took the video. It doesn't hold court all that often, apparently, which also makes the fact that we got this video even that more impressive. All the more reason to keep the pheasant alive. Perhaps its next courting ritual will involve magic and not a disappearing act. Number 7. Pygmy Three-Toed Sloth Sloths are really, really slow. All sloths have a lackadaisical nature and have lived with that for quite a long time. It can hurt them in the long run though, such as with the pygmy three-toed sloth. This isn't only a rare sloth, it's a critically endangered one. <laughs> Ongoing destruction and fragmentation of its habitat, exploitation for food, the presence of feral cats, and the lack of sufficient legal protections for pygmy three-toed sloth and their habitats have all caused a sharp decrease in its population. So, unlike a lot of other animals on this list, the fight to keep them alive has not really been as productive. There were even people in places like the United States trying to buy and sell them despite their low population numbers merely because they wanted them for display. Well, in the end, that's greed for you. Number 6. Yangtze Giant Softshell Turtle Here's another critically endangered species for you to learn about, but tragically this is a creature that is so low in population, nobody can honestly say if it's going to survive or not. I'm talking about the Yangtze Giant Softshell Turtle, and according to official records, at last count, there are only four of these turtles left in the entire world. That is not a lot at all. The good news is, though, that if breeding happens, a single giant softshell turtle can actually produce up to 100 eggs, but the problem is that the female has tried breeding with other males, with certain preservation efforts and care, and nothing has happened. Could this change in the future? Well, yeah, absolutely, but the fact that their number is still at four is quite bad, and if that female dies, and only the males are left, Barring a miracle, the species is toast. Number 5. Golden Lion Tamarind Given the rather tragic nature of that story, how about something a bit more uplifting? Now we're going to talk about the Golden Lion Tamarind, which is a special species of monkey that we have a positive update for from within the last six months. This monkey was once so low in population numbers that it was barely at 200. Beginning in the 1970s, efforts were made to help them bounce back, and it wasn't all that easy. The monkeys even had to deal with a yellow fever outbreak. However, as of 2023, their population has skyrocketed to about 4,800. To be clear, that does not mean that they're out of the woods just yet, as they're still labeled as endangered. But when you have a population spike like that, you have reason to celebrate and the team preserving and helping them did just that when the population survey numbers came in. Number 4. Long-Beaked Echidna Now it's time to talk about the long-beaked echidna, which is an important animal for one simple reason. People thought that it was already extinct. Equally as important, it was found recently, in November of 2023, and by that point people thought that it had been long dead and somebody got a picture of one. An expedition into Indonesia, led by Oxford University researchers, recorded four three-second clips of the long-beaked echidna. These creatures are both so rare and so old in their lineage that they're known as living fossils, and it also gives hope to researchers that other long-thought extinct creatures could still be out there, just waiting to be found once again. Number 3. Spotted Handfish as I've shown you, there are numerous ways that an animal can become endangered. But for the spotted handfish, it became endangered in part because of how its life just goes. What do I mean by that? Well, it only lives on sandy bottoms of water areas and only at a specific depth. So when those places began to be hurt by human expansion, pollution, and overrun with predators, it didn't exactly have much room to maneuver. 
Furthermore, it's only found in one single place within Australia, so that means that if something happens to that one population, it may well infect the entirety of them all. That's exactly what happened, and thus it's now critically endangered. Number 2. Fossa It's actually ironic that I haven't talked about Madagascar, given how much life is in that country, and how said life is constantly under threat. But in this case, I'm talking about its top predator, the fossa. What are fossa, you may ask? They are relatives to the mongoose, and they're creatures that just love to go after Madagascar's number one star, the lemur. So yeah, they would probably take out King Julian if you asked. But could you ask them? Well, that's the problem. Despite being the top predator in the land, they're actually hard to find. Scientists honestly don't really know a whole lot about them, and so they don't know their population numbers. And that's bad because they need to be tracked and recorded so that they can get an estimate on how well they're doing or, you know, how badly they're not. Number 1. Birds of Paradise Now I'm ending this with a generalization because there's an entire bird family known as the Birds of Paradise. Specifically, they're a group of birds that can be found in places like eastern Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and eastern Australia. There are 45 species in this group and or family, and many of them are threatened in terms of their population status. The threat to these birds are uniform, so that's why we're bundling them together. First, they've been hunted down because of their beautiful feathers, which have been used in outfits all over the world. And secondly, they've had their homes chopped down by deforestation, which has hurt their population numbers even more. And the fact that this is taking place across multiple countries is even more troubling, as it could affect and wipe out multiple bird species in one single swoop. Well, that's all from the realm of rare animals that we don't always get to see in the wild and beyond. Did you know that all these creatures existed before coming to this video? And which ones did you not know about? Or perhaps there's another animal I didn't mention that could have been given a spotlight. As always, you can let me know in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.